Hey everybody! I'm here today to show you and tell you how to use a Seagate external hard drive. This will be a full tutorial, so let's get right into the video. I'm going to be showing you and telling you how to use this hard drive right here, but if you have a different version of a Seagate external hard drive, it's probably going to be a very similar thing. Now, I will say this, for this external hard drive, this is a solid state drive, an SSD, so it doesn't require a power source. As you can see, there's only one connection that is made, which is the data transfer cable, which I'll go over in a moment but if your Seagate external hard drive requires a power source you're gonna have to plug it into a power source as well as the data connection it all depends on the hard drive but for the most part most modern ones that you'll buy at your regular technology store for you know personal use right that aren't like ri ridiculously big in terms of their space and their their storage they're just gonna require a data transfer cable so as you can see this data transfer cable looks like this okay on one side it has the USB, standard USB port. This is the part that goes into your computer. And on this side it has this uh, awkward sort of uh, shaped cable which only goes in in one direction. Very simple, that goes to your external hard drive. This is actually the Seagate Backup Plus portable drive. That's what it says on the back. Um, yeah, it's just my wife's hard drive that I grabbed for uh, this tutorial. I actually have many of these as well. Um, I honestly they're awesome we have like in our household between myself my wife and the kids we have i don't know maybe 10 of these like they're just fantastic different sizes but they're all like i love these they're all very similar in how they work so basically you're going to connect this cable okay and obviously make sure it's the, it might be slightly different so make sure it's the right cable but look at the shape of it and see if it connects that's straight up connect the, the part of the cable that connects into the hard drive and and connect it into it and make sure it's in the right orientation so in this case i'm going to turn it this way and we're going to plug it in like that make sure it's nice and securely in place then the other end of the cable right here is sort of like the typical USB cable that you'll find. You know, like we're used to seeing these kinds. There's obviously different kinds of USB cables. USB uh, A, B, C, blah, blah, blah. I don't know what letters they're gonna end up going to, but this is the typical kind. I don't know what the letter is for it. I don't remember, but um, it's uh, the typical kind. It might be USB type A, I could be wrong, but that's what, what's coming to my mind. But like I said, don't quote me on it because I could definitely be wrong. If you know what type of USB port this is, comment below. So there's no more confusion and we'll all understand, okay, including myself. You're going to plug that into your computer's USB port that is equivalent to this. So this is the out, the USB port out, and you're going to plug it into the USB port in. There's an output and an input, okay? So in this case, with this computer, I have to like just flip this down to sort of gain access to the USB slot. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to plug it in. Let me see what direction it goes in. Okay, just like this, I just want to make sure. It'll only go in one direction, so don't force it in. It should just slide in nicely, just like, let's just get that in there, just like this. There you go. So what I've done now is I've connected the Seagate external hard drive to the computer. And then, obviously, <clears throat> your computer will be on, right? You're going to make sure your computer's on when you do this. I'm not going to turn this computer on because it's very simple and I'm just going to explain it. Make sure your computer's on. And at that point, the computer will sense that you've plugged in a hard drive and most of the time with most modern pcs okay um you're just going to get a pop-up window that's going to ask you if you want to open up the folder of the hard drive and it's going to give you any options that you have at that point you can choose whichever option that you want but when i plug in a hard drive uh, i have an antivirus software that will scan it right away uh, but once that is completed that that happens automatically on my computers but once that's completed then um, i'll choose to open the folder to view the files and then i am now in the hard drive i'm viewing the internals of the hard drive on the computer so you'll see the files of the hard drive on the computer that's it standard connection make sure your computer's on and then choose whichever option you want but i once the the antivirus scan is done and the anti-malware scans are done then i will end up opening the hard drive and seeing what's on it and then i can add files to it remove files from it and so forth that's it if you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one and that's all i have for you today Thanks for watching.